Hi Taurus, what's going on? Well, uh, I've already pulled your cards. That's why I've got the smile on my face. I'm going to let you see me pull the cards and you will see why I'm smiling. Before I do, um, thank you for clicking on your reading first and foremost. And I hope you all are doing well. Make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. If the reading helps, if the message helps you, okay, if you like it. And this is the first part. We're about to talk about it, okay? I'll get into the second part, which is where I see this energy going, coming up next. And um, I'll mention the other things we discuss in part two. That part of the reading is on Vimeo, okay? The link for that is in the description, top of the comments, Taurus. But for right now, let's get into this um, yummy energy that you got going on here and um, we'll come back. I'm about to let you see me pull the cards and then come back and we'll talk about it, okay? Okay, Taurus, so you see the cards. Um, when Watermelon Tourmaline came out as the energy, because this looks like a Jolly Rancher to me, um, the first word was yummy that came to mind. And then <laughs> I was, I heard, so if any of you have kids or if you, you know, have seen Yo Gabba Gabba, there is a song that says there's a party in my tummy so yummy so yummy okay that combined with the ace of cups being here okay so ace of cups is scorpio energy for me and it's about a rebirth but it's something beautiful that comes out of chaos okay it's like the lotus flower. All right. That's what it reminds me of. If you all hear background noises, I apologize. But I want to do your reading. Okay. I will tell you this. I was kind of tired, but I was like, no, I want to do Taurus's reading. And I got like a boost seeing your cards. Okay. So I want to do this. So hopefully we will put it out there that the kiddos will calm down. Okay. So. I'm getting rebirth, okay? Some like this connection is what you all are experiencing this week or when it, whenever you watch this is bliss. Okay? And this in combination with the empress for how your person shows up, I'm definitely getting someone potentially being pregnant, especially with watermelon. Watermelon represents fertility. Okay. So if this is not a literal pregnancy, like if your person is not literally with child, okay. And this could be another Taurus or a, ver uh, ooh, that's weird. 
it's not Virgo, but maybe I'm looking at the earth. Okay. I'm thinking about Virgo. Virgo does give me Empress energy though. Okay. But anyway, this could be another Taurus or it can be a Libra. Definitely can be a Libra because your person shows up with the dragonfly as well. So this is air. Okay. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but, um, definitely could have a dominant Libra placement in their chart. Okay. So I'm getting all of this yumminess, all of this, you know, and then when I saw the 10 of cups, okay, which is like it, this further emphasizes and you saw at the top of the deck, you have the nine of cups. So it's like a dream come true. This feeling of like, am I dreaming? Okay. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Like, is this for real? And I was even feeling, I, it was almost like I didn't want to keep pulling any more cards. I didn't want to pull any more cards, Taurus. I was like, oh, this is so good. And, you know, I, I feel like there is that could be the energy of your person for sure because my the dragonfly card for me is pisces and you have a lot of pisces energy here okay so there is a question of like is this real okay cuz it's like we've found or there is this energy of just like being in love. Um, I just got, that's so funny. A friend of mine sent this, but uh, Rihanna's song, we found love. All right. And there's so much hope. Okay. And it's almost like a dream come true. It is this energy of a wish coming true here, Taurus. Okay. Like, I feel like this person here, um, is imagining life with you. Okay. You both are, I, I feel, um, I, I think that what I am getting with the both of you Taurus in this connection with you showing up as the queen of pentacles. Okay. So this is definitely you. It's. Capricorn, um, but she looks very Taurus. Look at the, the, the horns. Okay. She looks very regal. Um, so there you are. All right. But I do get a very, like my feet are firmly planted, uh, on the ground. There's, you, you show up very, very grounded. Okay. And very confident. And I actually get, um, <laughs> you know, it's like, you're showing up like, um, I know I'm real. I know what I have to offer. I know how I feel about this. You also have, I'm so grateful I'm, I met you. Are you sure you are real? Okay. So that further emphasizes the whole 10 of cups. Cause this is like a dreamy, like a daydream type of energy. It's, it's almost like, you know, what I'm even feeling more so on your end. It's like this person's looking at you, Taurus, like you're the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Okay. All right. So I don't know if, if a number of you are, um, in a relationship with who this is. Okay. It's going to resonate differently for a number of you, but I just have to read it how I see it. And I'm seeing two people who have found love are in love are experiencing like the dream. That's the only way that I can read this. 
And so because you do show up in the, as this very grounded energy, this does seem very Queen of Pentacles, okay? It's like, I'm very grateful for this, but are you real? You know, it's your, your, it's like logic kicks in with you. Okay. Queen of Pentacles means business. All right. And I feel like a number of you seem to be very invested in this connection. All right. Like you're committed. Um, you're, you're here for the long run. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. And, and I feel like this person also looks at you like an ideal partner, Taurus. Okay. You show up. Queen of Pentacles for me is the ideal partner. Okay. And I think also you have a lot to offer. A lot of you do very well for yourselves financially. Okay. Um, you own your own home. Okay. You, um, you know, queen of pentacles is very responsible. All right. I've got all of my ducks in a row. Everything is lined up. So, but again, I also do feel like a lot of you may say Taurus too, like you, you have a lot to lose. Okay. You're somebody who has a lot, but you also have a lot to lose. So the reason why I'm bringing that up is because you also show up with the octopus energy. This is why I was like, I don't want to pull any more cards, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll give you the upside, right? Of the octopus. This is somebody who's very emotionally intelligent. Okay. And um, if you've ever seen an octopus, you know, people are like stunned by just like, if you go look up on YouTube, they have the octopuses going through a maze. Okay. Um, so very smart very emotionally intelligent. A number of you may have, there's a lot of water. Octopus energy is water. So a number of you may have cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. Now I'm actually getting Scorpio energy with this Taurus. That is your, and we're about to have a full moon, right? In Scorpio. But, um, you, this is your, a number of you may be, maybe, uh, I don't know. This is your partner sign. So a number of you may be watching this. If you have like a Taurus moon or Taurus rising, it doesn't matter. When a sign acts, uh, behaves, um, in its seventh house. Okay. So Scorpio would be your seventh house, especially if you're a Taurus rising. So seventh house is your partner sign. Okay. But it's also an opposite energy. So I've mentioned this in a ton of readings. Taurus is I have. Okay. So I have it. It's very earthly grounded energy. Um, Scorpio is I desire. Okay. So there's something here emotionally and I'm getting fear with this and it's based off of, it's based off of the past. And there could even be some paranoia because da, 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 like this further confirms it. I am so grateful I met you, right? Glad you're here. This is fantastic. But are you sure you're real? Okay. Because I got a lot to lose. I know my worth. I know my value. Queen of Pentacles absolutely knows what she or he is bringing to the table because this doesn't have, it's... Don't worry about the sex. You could be man, woman, whatever you identify with. This is how you show up. All right. So you are a, you know, person of value and integrity and you have your standards. Okay. Um, so, you know, and Taurus is a fixed sign. So you, you know, when a fixed sign makes a decision, and that's it. 
Okay. It's like, I've made my decision now. So, but for a number of you, you're looking to invest. You, I already feel like a number of you are invested in this connection, but, um, you seem to be, you know, thinking about this long term, and so is your person. I'm going to get into that. Obviously, they show up with the Empress. Okay, so, okay, we'll get into that in a second here because they're questioning, like, is this real? Is this really happening to me? Like, Taurus is my ideal partner. Okay, um, and your person over here, like, their energy is nothing to what's the, what's the the phrase, um you know what I'm saying? Like whoever this is, they've got it going on too. Okay. So, um, but I feel like you both match energy because like I said, the Empress is also Taurus as well. You show up with the queen of pentacles. Like it's almost like if there were two queen of pentacles in this deck, you both would show up as that. If there were two empresses in this deck, you both would show up as the Empress. You guys match. Okay. <laughs> You, you all are like just, and I, I, I did a Taurus reading, um, maybe not this last one, but the one before, and it said perfect match. It's like this all over again. It, it, this isn't a ideal partnership. It's just amazing. So I could see why the both of you are like, is this for real? You know, um, is this really happening? Okay. That's so weird. Look, I put your person, I put you as the empress. That's what I'm saying. The energy is like interchangeable. I think both of you are invested in this, um, for the long run. And, um, so, you know, with the octopus, there are still reservations that I'm getting with you, with you here, Taurus, but it's just the vibe of like, is this too good to be true? Just like it says, are you real? All right. And your person, oh my goodness. <laughs> Some, okay. I'm just getting like you both being in love, but especially who this is like, they are in love. Okay. They are like, I will have your baby today. All right. Um, or I want you to have my baby today. Okay. Taurus. So it says, I have so much passion and desire for you. It drives me mad. <laughs> ah! That's why I feel like your person is like, this almost looks like the fool. Oh my goodness. Look, what I say, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Look at that. Look at that. And how I held up the, um, the cards. Wow. Oh my goodness. What? I don't even want to like, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. Okay. And so your person, look at them. They're like jumping up. Okay. Like, and whoever this is, um, that's weird. I just noticed this person's hair. This person may have like, um, looks like blue hair, some type of, um, color. It could be you Taurus. I feel like both of you have water in your chart. Your person strongly has air. Okay. But yeah, I am getting like air and water. Um, just emotionally you two, I'm just getting a lot of happiness here. And yeah, your person's like, I have found it. I've struck gold. Okay, Taurus. And you know, you're over here just looking sassy. Like you have, um, you have struck gold. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so I think you're the one that has more questions. You know, your person is over here. Like, you know, I'm, I'm sold. I'm sold. This is it. Okay. All right. For a lot of you, Taurus, this is, you know, your divine counterpart. This person shows up as the Empress. Okay. Now, again, so much passion, right? <laughs> I have so much passion and desire for you. It drives me mad. Look at the word desire. Some of you question that. 
okay? I don't know. You question their desire for you. You're like, do you desire me? All right. Um, they do. Okay. It, it's honestly, Taurus, I don't know what questions you have about who this is, but I'm just hearing like, it's just you and them. That's it. There is nobody else. There's nobody else like you two. What you two are experiencing is real bliss. Okay. It's love. It's love. That's what I'm hearing. Jill Scott. It's love. Okay. Go listen to that song. Oh my goodness. I think I want to listen to that song after I'm done. It's love. Um, I'm all over the place. I'm going to get to your dragonfly. This person showing up as a dragonfly. But what I was saying is um, when a sign, my apologies, Taurus, when a sign behaves in its seventh house, it can act to its detriment. So you don't, some of you may have a, a Lilith, okay? A Lilith placement, maybe a Lilith in Scorpio or a Lilith in... Um, a water sign and it could cause with Lilith, it can either go to the extreme. It can tend to go the, to the extreme one way or another, right? So if you have a water Lilith, for example, and let's say it's Scorpio. All right. I'll just say Scorpio. A Lilith and Scorpio could either go in an extreme direction of paranoia. Okay. Um, you know, uh, always investigating and wondering like, what is this person doing? Okay. It can just be extreme in that way and not trusting, or it can go in the other, to, in the other direction and be extremely possessive and, um, you know, and obsessive. Okay. And, uh, I don't care. I'm in love. I'm going to give you all my loyalty. And, you know, so it can go from one extreme to the other. Okay. So if, if that makes sense, so I'm getting that for some of you, you have this Lilith placement or this moon placement that makes you very skeptical. Okay. And I think that that's what I'm getting for you, Taurus. That's worked for you. That's worked for you in, in a number of ways it's worked for you, but Will it work now? I don't know because I feel like you've found like real love. Okay. Like this is really, really good. Okay. And ace of cups is not like you have the 10 of cups, the nine of cups, so you have double wish fulfillment and you also have the ace. So the ace is, this is a gift. All right. This is something that you and this person have manifested and it's here. You both have asked for this. And the universe is like, here you go, here you go out of the chaos, out of the darkness, out of, you know, um, negative experiences that you have had Taurus in your lifetime, negative experiences that your person's ha person has had. It's now created this moment that you all are having. Okay. Both of you are experiencing something that you have desired. Okay. We've got that Scorpio again. So your person like with this dragonfly, they could also be questioning, is this real? Okay. Because the dragonfly is, um, when the dragonfly shows up, it's going to tell you to kind of question your mind, the quality of your thoughts. Okay. For a number of you, I feel like you are on this person's mind. Yes. Yes. I have so much passion for you. It drives me mad. Okay. So you are on their mind, Taurus. Okay. And 
I just heard they're, they almost, they're like, the tourists like do something to me, put some sort of spell on me. Like I cannot stop thinking about, about him or her. Okay. They could be very like right now, um, this week Taurus too, like their communication may seem very like here and there or a little all over the place. Okay. Um, let's give me that Gemini. All right. But it's an illusion. So that could be why you're also like, you know, what I see this week is you kind of questioning, you know, it's like your, your intuition kicking in. But you're like, why are you talking like this? Why are you texting me like this? Why are you doing this? You're picking up something. But I don't I I don't get that it's anything negative at all. It's just that this person could be trying to give the illusion that they're not going crazy over you, okay? <laughs> they could be trying to, you know, kind of put up a front a little bit. Okay. Because they don't want to come off, um, pressed. Okay. <laughs> so now again, if this reading does resonate in a way where there's something about, you know, pregnancy and, um, things like that. I mean, that could also be something that's happening here. I do feel like this person either imagines, you know, you, this, this could be the mother or father of your children too, Taurus. Again, it just resonates differently for a number of you. You could be married to who this is already. Um, I think that this person sees themselves having children with you. Like this is it you know, for a number of you, this person's like, nope, this is it. I'm done. Um, so the relationship, so I want to tell you watermelon tourmaline, it says seeing perfection in the moment, basking in the bliss of just being natural joy and a peaceful heart. Look at that. And look what it's tied with. Look at the ace of cups. There's a heart. Oh, I just heard apple of my eye. Cause it kind of reminds me of an apple. So um, and it's like, look, you're like in an orchard almost Taurus. Okay. High fruit, high fruit. You're, you're not, you know, there's no low hanging fruit over here. You're, you're high up there. You know, you gotta, you gotta climb. Right. Um, so yes, I'm hearing like the apple of my eye. Okay. And whoever this is, Taurus, if they have not expressed this to you yet, they, that's how they feel. Again, their communication could just seem different, but it's an illusion. Okay. Um, so I was saying with the Ace of Cups, she's holding it over her heart. All right. She's holding it over her heart. So it's, you know, it's just cool how that ties in when it says, a natural joy and peaceful heart. Mm, let me read this. It says watermelon tourmaline spirit is here to remind you. Um, it says, yes, problems exist and always will. Okay. Cause you all could be going through some sort of honeymoon phase too. You know, it's going to resonate differently for, for you guys, but Watermelon tourmaline spirit is here to remind you that, um, it says problems exist and always will, but they don't have to define your experience in this life. And you are extremely, a, an extremely powerful healer and co-creator. So let joy and peace arise in you. Okay. Cause both of you are feeling this. It's not just you or them. It's the both of you. This is, uh, these are shared feelings here. Okay. Of it's like, this is what I want. All right. And, um, 
It says, do not let your ego distract you from the pleasure of knowing that each moment you are here, you have the distinct honor of being able to contribute to the healing of the planet and all her creatures. The conscious universe is giving you a shout out. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. It's a gift. This is a gift. Life is good and it's getting better every moment. Oh, Taurus. Here's your relationship message, okay? It says, perfection lies in loving unconditionally. Just as the conscious universe loves you no matter what, whoever you love, whoever loves you, know that flaws are here to remind you that love heals. Today, your attention is drawn to the perfection of the love within you and the love from the conscious universe that flows directly into you from every direction, reminding you that you are always worthy of love. Knowing this, bask in the love all around you. And oh my God, this reading is full of love, okay? <laughs> um, then you will see your relationship more clearly, okay? And that that's that's the devil. This, this octopus is like the devil spirit. It's a bit of confusion, and that's how you're coming up here. You're like, I'm confused a little bit though, okay? Uh, and again, they may be trying to just do this on purpose, Taurus. You know, sometimes people, they don't want to, you, you may feel like they're acting weird, but they're just like, just like it says, maybe they are acting weird because their desire for you drives them mad. Okay. Um, uh, the best way to express love is through sacrifice. And sometimes it's through saying no, no with capital letters and a period at the end. You will soon know what you are meant to do and what you need to consider. But first, you must stop and feel the unconditional love that is yours. Feel bliss, be in your bliss, and all will soon be clear. I also feel like Taurus too, this person um, is going back and forth about saying something. They're like looking for the right moment. For some of you, you know, this could be... Um, I don't know, a proposal, all right? Because this person's looking at you long-term or they may just want to propose some sort of idea, okay? If it's not like marriage, okay? They're, they're, a, little, they're a little obsessed, okay? So, and I mean, you know, because this is it. They feel like, okay, I found something. I'm, I, I love this. This is, this is... I've struck gold. All right, Taurus. So feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe. Okay. We're going to get into where this energy is heading. Okay. I'm about to pull the cards, let you see that. And, um, we're also going to, you know, pull some more clarifiers in terms of what this person wants in this lifetime with you. What do they think is going to happen? The outcome I get Taurus. Okay. I'm going to give you a timeline of forward movement here. And then, um, we're also going to pull your advice. Okay. How should you be showing up in this connection? All right. So if you are interested in that, keep watching, you'll see me pull the cards. And if you feel like that will be beneficial and you can follow me over to Vimeo link is in the description, top of the comments. Okay. Taurus, with that being said, I love your reading. I'm telling y'all, I was like tired. I'm like, let me just go do tour. I'm so happy. I did. I'm so happy for you guys. Okay. And I wish you the best with everything. Peace.